Hi, I'm Debbie. I'm going to demonstrate for you today two of my favorite lymphatic techniques, the dry brush massage and the warm towel scrub. First, let's talk for a minute about your lymphatic system. Our lymphatic system runs parallel to our circulatory system in our body. But unlike our circulatory system, which has its own private pump, which is our heart, our lymphatic system relies on movement, exercise, external pressure, and techniques such as these to keep lymph moving freely. When your lymph is flowing freely, you benefit by having enhanced immune function as well as enhanced detoxification. On top of that, the techniques that I'm going to show you are beneficial for your skin. Our skin is our body's largest organ of elimination. In fact, it's responsible for eliminating 25% of the waste that our body produces. So let's start with the first technique, which is your dry brush massage. So a couple things to point out first. So the first is that a dry brush massage is best done when the brush is dry and your body is dry. So it's typically done before we get in the shower or get in the bathtub. The second thing is that all the movements that we're doing are going to be moving in the direction that your lymph flows, which is toward our heart. So right here I have two examples of dry brushes. So they come in different shapes and sizes, and typically you want to find one that feels like the right size for your body. They'll all have long handles, and then they all have a soft bristle, bristled brush. So this one is my preference. So what we would do to perform a dry brush massage is we start at our ankles, and we use firm, small, upward strokes where we start down here, feet and ankles, and then we move in the direction toward our heart. So going all the way around our legs and up our body. We can pay close attention to the area behind our kneecaps, and as I said, just getting all the areas on both the front and the back of our legs with these firm upward strokes. And then we end at the lymph nodes in our groin region over here. And then we would move on and do the same thing with our other leg. So then we would go to our arms. So we start at our hands, we move toward our wrists, and then we continue going up our arms again, paying attention to the elbows, the back side of our elbows, and then ending with the lymph nodes in our armpit region over here. And then we would do our other arm. Then we would move on to our abdomen. So we start at the bottom doing small upward strokes on our abdomen. When we get to our sides we can do some larger strokes. And then sometimes I'll just do some clockwise motions around the middle of my abdomen. And if it's comfortable for you, you can do the same thing with your back. And then lastly, we're going to end with our neck. So we're just going to do some downward strokes all the way around the front and the back of our neck as well. So if you don't have a body brush, then what you can do is what's called a warm towel scrub. The warm towel scrub is done exactly the same way that the dry brushing is done. However, this technique would be done with your body being wet and the washcloth being wet so in your shower or in the bathtub. But you follow the exact same movements that I just demonstrated for you using a washcloth instead of a dry brush. So I hope my explanation shows you how to do these two simple lymphatic techniques. Thanks for watching.